In this video, I'll show you how I animated this. Hi, I'm Adam Minute. This is Video Shop. This is an illustration by Toby Triumph. That's fun to say. Who's kindly let me do this tutorial. I've been a fan of Toby's for a while, and if you live in London, there's a good chance you might have seen his work on the underground. Good lord. One thing I love about his stuff is it looks really fun, so it seems apt that this video will be total nonsense. We're not doing serious today. In fact, I highly recommend taking this cue and pouring yourself a drink, no matter what time it is. Got a beer? Seven o'clock in the morning. Scotch? This won't be a step-by-step -step tutorial, but a process breakdown. The techniques aren't groundbreaking. The only mildly interesting aspect is maybe the use of reference. But if you want to know more about any particular aspect, as always, you can view the whole workflow. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> The easiest part of this animation was definitely this rotating type, so we'll skip along this bit. The font is Franklin Gothic Extra Condensed. You need to use Cinema 4D Renderer to extrude the type. Create a circular mask on the type, set it to None, select that mask in Path Options, click on Reverse Path, then give the kernel some love. To have the stroke on the text, you can't do it in the Character Panel because firstly it gives you this overlap, but C4D Renderer ignores the stroke anyway. So instead you'll need to create shapes from text, then go into the contents and add a stroke underneath all the character groups. Just make sure that the strokes at the bottom are not say halfway up. Now we can extrude it and then rotate and keyframe it. I've got mine animating one revolution over eight seconds. Too much quicker than that and it's gonna to be too fast. I struggle with hands. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Not my hands, but animating them. I did this silly loop a little while ago. It was animated in Photoshop, then comped in After Effects. In that case, I shot reference first, and I did the same here. I spent a long time, far too long, trying to match the finger positions in Toby's illustration, then slowly rotate the glass. Either my fingers are wrong, or this motion is just incredibly difficult in real life. Then I realized I didn't actually need to be holding anything. I could just comp the glass in afterwards. For the relatively clean look, I thought shape layers would be the best approach. So that's how the hand is animated. Tracing over the footage with shape layers, then keyframing the path shapes. It looks painstaking, but I tried to keep the keyframes to a minimum. I animated a second emotion, then pre comp the animation, and time remapped it to smooth it out. I've done a tutorial on this technique if you want to know more. No. Another touch I wanted to add was to have the glass tilt slightly. It's subtle, but it's there. The new advanced 3D renderer makes something like this easier. I didn't have to film reference for it, which is lucky as I don't have any martini glasses. If you find yourself animating an illustration in a similar style, you can always find a cheap or free model and use that as a reference. I look at the advanced 3D renderer in a couple of my previous videos. So let's move on to the moving liquid simple and I lifted the technique from a tutorial by Oliver Randolph. It's pretty much just the wave warp effect offset on two layers. Then I added a stroke using layer styles. And that's it really. The rest was pretty straightforward adding in the smiley faces and having them move like they were swirling around. CC Spear for that and then tinting them so it looks like they're further away in the glass. Took me a little while to get it right. And then lastly add in the glints and a cheesy light sweep on the text. As I said before, there's the whole workflow video and it's chaptered, just in case I've gone through any part of this too quickly. You've also got the free project file, which Toby has very kindly let me share. But I should probably wrap this up now just in case any of you took me seriously and actually started drinking. It's almost like I wanted to just shoehorn in a load of drinking related film clips. Okay, all right, that's enough. Final thanks again to Toby. This was really fun to animate and hopefully almost as fun for you to watch. Thanks for watching, see you again soon. <laughs>